So in this video, we're going to see how to do question three from the practice for application Z7 using Excel. In the first part, we don't really need any technology. Uh, we want to show a picture of the probability that the random variable is less than negative 2.2. So we set the arrow to negative 2.2, and we shade to the left then the shaded area represents the probability that the random variable is less than negative 2.2. For the second part, we will need to use technology. We want to sketch a shaded area where the probability, or the area, is 0.1 for all values of the random variable greater than some number. As we're looking at z being greater than c, we want to look at the area to the right. And then the question is, where do we put this line? Right, That's the value of c. So c would be the location of this arrow. Now obviously, it's got to be to the right of 0. Because if it's at 0, we know the probability is 0.5. And as you get here, it's going to get smaller than 0.5. So we need to figure out where that is. Now when we use Excel, Excel will actually calculate where you draw this line if you give it the area to the left. So let's pretend we have the area here and it's 0.1. The area to the left is going to be 0.9. So we're just going to ask Excel, where do I draw this line so that the area to the left is 0.9? And that will, of course, give us the area to the right being 0.1. So this will use the norm inverse feature. And the area to the left is 0 0.9. And this is the standard normal distribution. So the mean is 0, and the standard deviation is 1. So we want it at about 1.3. And that should do it.